Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1969 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup features the California Angels versus the Seattle Pilots at Six Stadium. On the mound for the Angels today is Rudy May, whose record is 1-1 one one with a 3.77 ERA. And pitching for the Pilots today is Jerry Stevenson, whose record is 3-1 with a 3.86 ERA. We have now won four out of the last five ball games, and it's been our pitching and our defense that's getting the job done. Uh, I'm just as shocked as you are. I never thought we could ever get to a level where we could count on our pitching, um, but it's been pretty good over the last five days. And yesterday we won 6-2. Now, Bob Meyer didn't pitch great. He didn't even qualify for the win, uh, but we pulled him out just at the right time, and the bullpen came in and got the gerb done. And that's all that matters. So we figured out a way to get the victory yesterday uh, in game one, and now we've got game two. And another left-handed pitcher, uh, Rudy May. What is <laughs> It's like seven in a row or something of left-handed pitchers. So a statistical anomaly. Um, and we do have a right-hander tomorrow, so that'll be good. Uh, finally get some of our left-handed batters in the lineup. So let's get started with today's game. As always, I appreciate everyone following along, like and or subscribe to the channel. Uh, we are doing really well with the uh, suggestions for our AA affiliate. Um, if you uh, are just tuning in to this... Uh, to this uh, sim, uh, we are looking for suggestions for the AA affiliate for the Seattle Pilots, preferably a uh, Pacific Northwest team uh, city, and you could make up the name, give it some alliteration, make it funny, um, come up with something baseball related. Uh, we have a lot of good suggestions. It's going to be tough to narrow it down uh, to the top five, but I think this Sunday uh, we'll make it the cutoff date and we'll go ahead and put those suggestions up for a vote on our uh, Brainiac Baseball YouTube community page. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we have Jerry Stevenson on the mound today. He's been pretty good for us. I love the fact that he's got more strikeouts than he's pitched. That'll keep you in the rotation all year long for me. Uh, all the bullpen is available today. And then we have our lineup here versus another left-hander, Rudy May. Uh, mixing it up a little bit, we're going to get uh, Mike Keegan in there in left field. And Merritt Renu will give uh, Jerry McNerty the day off. And we are uh, pulling Tommy Harper from the lineup and uh, moving Don Bosch into right field. So with Hegan in left and uh, Darren Johnson in at first base. So... Um, that's the plan today. We've been doing good enough with our lineup to at least give us enough runs to win the ball game. Okay, let's take a look here at the Angels lineup rundown. A little bit different from yesterday. Batting leadoff, playing center field is Tom Silverio. Batting second and catching is Randy Brown. Batting third at first base is Bob Chance. Batting cleanup. In left field is Rick Reichert. Batting fifth in right field is Jay Johnstone. Batting sixth at second base is Bobby Noop. Batting seventh at third base is Johnny Werhaus. Batting eighth at shortstop is Ruben Amaro. And the pitcher, Rudy May, in the nice spot. Let's take a look here at Jerry Stevenson making his fifth start. Since we pulled him from the bullpen into the rotation, 3-1 with a 3.86 ERA, 60K in 58 and a third innings pitch. I love that. Opponents are betting 2.12 against him, 93-mile-an-hour uh, fastball, ground ball percentage very low, not a lot of double plays today, unlike yesterday. He does have a great screwball, rated an 84, and his fastball is a 79. Overall at 84, and, I'm sorry, overall to 81 with a peak of 84. The 25-year-old righty goes to arbitration at the end of the year. We'll probably pay him at this rate, keep him around as a uh, 
starting option. Looking at his log, did he play against California earlier in the year? He did not. Coming off a nice victory over the Yankees, of all teams, where he went six innings, giving up one hit and 8K. Nicely done. So, All right, take a look at our defense here. A little bit of a mixed bag. We do have Renew behind the plate, who's better than McNerty, but we still struggle at second, uh, at second base. So, uh, and it's nice having a d good defensive outfielder uh, like Bosch in right. Okay, let's get the game started. Here is Tom Silverio leading off against Jerry Stevenson. Silverio betting 266, two home runs and a base hit in the center. Rounds first, looking maybe to get two out of it, but he holds it first. So leadoff man is on. This was the same scenario for the first five innings yesterday uh, before we finally pulled Bob Meyer. So we got a ground ball into the hole at first. That's an infield single. And this is the game, I think, where the Angels are going to get their revenge. Three out of the first uh, five bat, or four out of the first five batters are all left-handed. So this could be rough. We got a uh, 331 hitter, Bob Chance versus righties up next. And a base hit past the third baseman. Silverio scores. Brown goes to third, and it's 1-0, and there's nobody out. And uh, there is nothing we can do about this. Except pull the infield in. I don't think it's going to make a difference. Reichert. Ground ball to short. The runner holds. Chance goes to second. The only play was to get the force at first. Um, do we walk Johnstone to get to the sub-200 hitter? Nope. I mean, it's the first inning. <laughs> we shouldn't have to do that. We're going to pull the corners in here. So if uh, Johnstone pulls it to first, maybe we can hold Brown at third. I don't know. That's my strategy. Ground ball to short. The run will score. And Chance holds. The play was at first. And it's 2 nothing with two down. Here's Bobby Noop. Nope, 2-2 two -two count, strikes out, of course. So, they get their two runs, nothing we could do about it. We go to the bottom of the first inning. Let's take a look at our official lineup rundown. Batting leadoff, playing second base, is Gary Sutherland. Batting second at third base is Rich Rollins. Batting third at, in center field is Tommy Agee. Batting cleanup in right field is Don Bosch. Batting fifth at first base is Darren Johnson. Batting sixth in left field is Mike Hegan. Batting seventh and catching is Merritt Ranu. Batting eighth at shortstop is Fred Stanley. And the pitcher Stevenson in the nice spot. Okay, Rudy May. We have not faced him before. So I did a deep dive on Rudy May. Not a lot to talk about. The guy had such a long career, I couldn't find a lot of information on him. Um, high, career highlights, he's the 1980 ERA and whip leader. So very late in his career uh, for the Yankees, he had his best season. Um, he was, I uh, went to uh, high school in Orlando, in Oakland, California, where he was teammates with Joe Morgan. Uh, he was drafted in 1963 in the first year draft by the White Sox traded to the Phillies who turned around and traded him uh, to the Angels these Angels for Bo Belinsky you'll see he made his debut as a 20 year old in 1965 going 4 and 9 with a 392 ERA and then he did not pitch in the majors until 1969 in real life where he went 10 and 13 with a 344 uh, ERA uh, doesn't walk a lot, doesn't strike out a lot, um, very consistent, a career 500 pitcher, uh, pitched many games uh, in the World Series, uh, I'm sorry, in the playoffs. He pitched six games, started two, um, and he had um, a uh, 
ERA just over three uh, in the playoffs. Uh, other than that, I couldn't find much more on Rudy May. You'll see he's making his fifth start this year, one and one with a 3.77 ERA, 26 strikeouts in 28.2 innings pitched. Opponents are betting 259 against him. His fastball tops out at 89 miles an hour. Uh, his, it's rated at 94. His fastball. He's got a changeup. In real life, I did read they had a pretty damn good curveball. Uh, clearly. They don't recognize that here. Overall rated in 84, the 24-year-old lefty goes to arbitration at the end of next year. Okay, let's see here. The defense for the Angels. They still got Warhouse at third. And their first baseman is Bob Chance. So the corner infield, not great defensively. Everywhere else, pretty solid. All right, here is... Gary Sutherland leading off. Sutherland went deep in yesterday's ball game, betting 360 with two home runs. Sharply hit ground ball to second. Play made by Noop for one out. That's going to bring up Rich Rollins. Rollins had a home run yesterday. We had three home runs in that 6-2 victory. Rollins gets a base hit in the center field. That'll get his average up to 261. Runner on first for A.G., now, we have A.G. in the ballgame for defensive purposes. He does not hit lefties very well, um, but he's got good speed. Maybe he can beat out a base hit here. Even better, a base hit to center field. Rollins goes to third on the error by Silverio. It's first and third, and we've got a shot here at uh, getting on the board early. Let's see if Don Bosch can get a fly ball to the outfield. Rollins, not great speed. Or should we try to steal with AG? Let's see. What's the uh, percentage? Uh, 67%. We're going to go for a sack fly from our cleanup guy. Bosch betting 250. Five home runs. Full count. And he walks him to load the bases. So we have the bases loaded. We have good speed on the base path. And Darren Johnson up. Johnson hit his fifth home run yesterday. Fourth as a pilot. Um, I guess we got to let him take a cut. What other options do we have, really? Oh, two count. Oh, that's going to be the end of the inning right there. Johnson strikes out, and Hegan flips it to left. Will that fall in? No. Caught. So we strand the bases loaded. That's all you need to know about today's game. Today's game is over. That's it. There is no coming back from that. That was our one shot as Werhaas flies out to right center. One out. Here's the number eight hitter, Amaro. He's betting in the number two spot yesterday. Grounds out to second. Two down. That's going to bring up Rudy May. One for six. Rudy May is their number five starter in the lineup, so with a four-man rotation, they haven't had to use him too much this year. And, of course, he gets a base hit. I mean, come on. It's so stupid. This is going to be a long one as Silverio pops it up into foul territory. Out number three. We go to the bottom of the second inning with Merritt Renu leading off, getting another spot start today. He's been okay. We really count on him for his defense. Lining out to center field. That'll drop his average to 190. Speaking of sub-200 hitters, thought we'd give Fred Stanley an opportunity. Strikes out. And Stevenson strikes out. We go to the top of the third inning with the catcher Randy Brown leading off. 290 hitter. He's got a home run. And a ground ball to second, Sutherland making the play. Despite not having a good defensive rating, Sutherland is playing, at least in this stretch, pretty good. One down, Bob Chance, base at the center. I almost feel like we should pull Stevenson out now, like there's no point in letting him continue to pitch. Ground ball to second, can we turn two? 
Yes, we can. 4-6-3 double play. Going to the bottom of the third. Our only shot is to get Rudy May out of the ball game. Yeah, this is that's three in a row for May. Uh, this game is toast. Rich Rollins, though, two for two on the day with a double down the line. That is his seventh double. One behind Sutherland for the team lead. And another strikeout, and Bosch. Pop it up. Yep. We have all the indicators of a shutout. Maybe they'll give us a um, a uh, mercy run at the end, but I don't think so. Especially with our run differential in these, um, you know, shutting out three of the last five games, uh, shutting out our opponents. I think we're probably due to get to get moguled in reverse. All about Sutherland there. Oh, there's the error. Oh, well. And a ground ball to first. Okay, going to the bottom of the fourth. We're just pushing buttons. Nothing to see here. And renew. Infield single from the catcher. That's lame. It's like the um, immovable object in the unstoppable force. <laughs> Renew ground ball to the third baseman. But a two-out single doesn't mean anything in this game. Oh, base hit the left field. Maybe they're trying to change my perspective. Oh, the catch. Oh, that pitcher's up. Stevenson, he does have a hit this year. And he strikes out. Six Ks for May. Not even a strikeout pitcher. Yeah, strikes out there. That's only the second strikeout for Stevenson, who's averaging more than a strikeout in inning. And this is the worst team in the American League. The old walk, uh, strikeout, walk, walk combo. We get a strikeout here? Nope, base hit. That'll give him another run. So we're going to go ahead and pull him here after this uh, batter, I guess. That'll get another run in. Yeah, there's no point. So it's 4 nothing. We'll go to the bottom of the fifth inning. And we'll take out Stevenson. I probably should not have even had a bat. Sutherland pops out. Rich Rollins. Wow. Three for three for Rollins. Another double? That's the second double. It gives him eight. Now he is tied with Sutherland. Another strikeout. Oh, no pop up. And gosh, there's your strikeout. Okay. So Stevenson, another rough performance. We're gonna take him out. Bring in John Gelnar. Got the win yesterday. Today's the day he could probably get lit up. Ground ball to second. Johnny Warhaus. Ground ball to second. I mean, come on. Every play is the second base. Bottom of the sixth. Darren Johnson. Yeah, this, this game is over. I, it was over in the top of the first. I mean, this is a number five starter. A career 500 pitcher. Just keep throwing the button. Hitting the button. Hitting the button. Yeah, I mean... That's a... I, I, you know, losing is one thing, but like the predetermined outcome that baseball mogul gives you so f furiously frustrating as Stanley gets a triple he won't score though that's the second extra base hit in 114 at bats that's how much we've struggled at shortstop 
Now, well, we've got to take out Gelner, which is too bad. Good job by him, though. Uh, it's a lefty on the mound. We'll bring in Danny Walton. There's no point in trying to get a sack fly because we need... Why, wait, why are they pulling the infield in up four runs? Like, that run doesn't mean anything. So they're trying to prevent... Try, try to keep a shutout. Yeah, strike him out. Let's just get it over with. He has a base hit. He's going to score anyway. Oh, I guess the uh, infield in was a result of the pitcher supposedly batting. Why it doesn't revert back otherwise, I don't know. But we'll take the run. At least we're on the board. And a good job by Sutherland, who's maybe quietly been our team MVP uh, in limited duty. Rich Rall. Come back. Oh, there we go. Yep. And AG strikes out for the 100th time. Rudy May is over 100 pitches as we head to the eighth inning here. Um, we got two lefties coming up. Let's bring in Steve Barber. He's horrible. But we can't send him down because he's on a major league contract. And what's his rating? 81. I guess he is tradable. I was thinking uh, before today's ball game, who is still technically a tradable commodity? Steve Barber would be one of them. He's got an 81 rating. Um, as the trade deadline is about a month and a half away here. Here we go. And he walks. God bless it. This is such crap. Another walk. Let's just keep it going. Line drive. Pulling him out of the ball game. Um, Skippy. Let's bring in Skip Lockwood. Third game. Ground ball to short. Can we turn two? Nope. Johnny Warhaus. Ground ball to short. And we get out of it. To the bottom of the eighth inning. Rudy Bay, 112 pitches. He's got two walks and nine strikeouts. All it takes is for one of our batters to run into it. Ground ball back to the pitcher. Here's Hegan. Hey, a base hit for Hegan up against the wall. Bosch scores. 4-2. to two. That should be an obvious double. Like, why doesn't the visual match up with uh, <laughs> this chart that was up against the wall, and yet it's only 174 feet? All right. Um, I mean, Renew's already got a hit. He could hit and run here. Why not? Oh, one count. Round ball to second. And look at he get over. Maybe Stanley can come through. He's two for three today. Three one count. And uh, get down. Nope. Ah, crap. We're off to the ninth inning here. We may as well uh, bring in Marshall and give him a um, uh, a opportunity to pitch. Oh, why didn't that work? Well, there's two lefties coming up, right? Okay, so you know what we're going to do? We're going to let Lockwood pitch to Amaro, and then we'll see if they pit, uh, what they do for um, for May. Oh, they're going to pinch, pinch hit. So Bubba Morton batting 325. Lockwood will pitch to him and a base hit, of course. And now we got the lefties, so we're going to take them out. Bring in Ron Lock. Lockwood and Lock. I, I just made that connection. You might have saw the light bulb come in over my head. Yeah. Come on. Let's just get it over with. Fly ball to center. And Bob Chance. Strike it up. Okay, we're down two here in the ninth inning. Well, we definitely can't let Lock... Now, 
Um, they're bringing in Ed Sukla. Sukla. <laughs> what the? What the hell is that all about? Um, he's a righty. I guess. Wayne Comer batting 282. Where's his righties? We need someone who's going to get on base. Full count. Oh, he does get on base. Let's take a look at Sukla. He's got a couple of saves. Pitching pretty well. 2-2 two and two with a 253 ERA. As many walks as strikeouts. Fastball tops out at uh, 90 miles an hour. Rated at 83. Kind of a one-pitch pitcher. Overall, 77. The 26-year-old righty goes to arbitration. Um, we need two runs here. Let's hit and run. With Sutherland. Ground ball to third. That's not good enough as Comer advances to second. Here's Rollins having a pretty good game. He might be player of the game. Oh, he's going to gap it. Comer will score. Um. Oh, man. No, we're not going to risk it. We're not going to risk the biscuit. We're going to say no. We get, we're, we'll keep Rollins in scoring position to type the game. We've got Tommy Agee up. He's got to be able to come through for us here. One out. Runner on second. We're down a run. Here we go. Tommy Agee. 3-1 count. Oh, he had ball four. Rollins has to hold for Bosch. We are going to take Bosch out and pinch hit Tommy Harper. Harper, the better hitter versus righties, despite Bosch being a switch hitter. So we're going to go with the odds. Runner on second, two down. And he strikes out. Oh, nope. Is that going to fall in? Nope, it'll be caught. No chance for coming back. Angels lose. I mean, Pirates lose 4-3 to three to the Angels. And whatever. Okay, so we're a game back under 500. Um, take a look at the National League. San Diego! Oh, wow. They're, they have 16 wins, and they're 4-6 and six in the last 10. They are on a hot streak. Take a look at the headline news. Brainiac Baseball, Daily Beat. Baltimore pads their lead in the American League East, beating the Red Sox. Dave Leonard pitched well. There he is right there. Um, and Yeah, okay. Uh, next, Oakland pads their lead in the West. They beat the Twinkies. Jim Nash pitched well. Um, okay, that's it. Transactions. Oh, we've got some stuff happening here. Carmen fan zone of the Boston Red Sox as a rookie has a 21 game hitting streak coming to the to an end and yet he's only a, a 242 hitter so what did how did that improve he only batted 269 oh look at that it's like one hit every game I mean that's consistency one home run in there all right uh then Roy Face of the Montreal Expos. Long storied career. Uh, age 41 is going to miss five days. Oh, he's a triple A pitcher. Oh, because he's been injured. I got it. And we also have Dave Roberts. Not that Dave Roberts. This Dave Roberts is going to miss five days. Let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Another sad loss as we're 5-8 and eight in the month of June. All-Star game coming up. I mean, we lost that ball game giving up eight singles to the Angels. Um, all right. Rich Rollins had three doubles. Wow, when do you see that happen? Three doubles. He's got nine now. I can't remember the last time a human-controlled team had three. I, I, I don't think it ever happened with the Tigers. Uh, so good job there. 
Stanley gets a triple. Jerry Stevenson goes five, barely. Takes a loss. He's three and two. Bullpen does their gerb. Jer Steve Barber's on the way out. He sucks. Okay, that's going to do it for today's game. Uh, we are going to come back and play game three tomorrow. Until then, everyone, have a great day.